Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Jade Rhapsody. Today I'm going to make a Coca-Cola soda bottle lid necklace for you and I will be using several items. I have some um, Coca-Cola bottle lids of course, some jump rings, some chain, a clasp, of course I'm going to need some wire, and then my normal tool set. Um, that would be the snips, chain nose pliers, flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and also my hammer and my punch. So we're going to dive right in. I've already marked these where I'm going to try and make a little design. So first, I'm going to show you how to punch them. I did go ahead and put marks on them. So I'm going to do these two side ones. I want them to be top and bottom. So both of these side ones, use my punch and just punch that out. And these older bottle caps, we can use the straight edge here. So we get that lined up just right. So I'm going to do both of these like that. Um, and I can put that one over top of that one and mark it. The rest of these are going to be a little bit different. So I've got, because this is going to make my pendant. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm. down into my center one and this one will be just the opposite of that so it'll be so I can actually use that one turned over like this I can make sure they're both and I can mark it to make sure I get the same angle And then this one will have three because it will connect to both of these and the bottom one. And then the bottom one will only have one at the top. So we can put those there for kind of an idea of where this will be coming in there. This will be coming in there. And these older cats do have um, cork inside them, so you have to make sure that you make it through the cork as well. And then this one will just have one in the very top center, and that will be hanging down from that. So all of our holes are done. Now we're ready to cut some chain. Make the back of the ne necklace with some chain. So I have some chain here, and um, I forgot we'll need a measuring tape as well. I'm going to get that measuring tape. Do about three inches, I guess, each. Well, I may do a little more. We can always take some out. It's not a big deal if it's too long. I may make it four inches because I'm going to do about four inches then instead of three because this seems about right. So I'm just going to take um, and 
and this is non-soldered, so you can just open that like this. Just drop those off. We will save those links because they're they'll go right back in if we need them in another part of the necklace. So I'm gonna open this new one. This is exactly the same kind of chain. I just haven't opened it yet. scissors for that because the snips don't work very good on plastic. Uh, open a little bit of that. We'll just put that on our um, punch here. That one that's coming loose. And then that way I can just open that right up. links there. Just push that off to the side. So this is going to be the back. So I'm going to need a couple of these jump rings now. packages are new so I'm having to open some new packages but you can lay your stuff out in a container I usually use like a Tupperware container or something like that and that works fine and uh, I'm just gonna get like a medium sized jump ring so like these and I'm gonna get two of those for now I will use some more of these probably We want to be together, but I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, so I'm just going to put one on each end of Just pulling that, uh, like holding one side and then pulling it towards me to open that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this jump ring. It's gonna go here. And I'm gonna do another two jump rings. The other piece of chain. Set the rest of that package aside. I'm sure I will be using some more. Ready for a wire. I'm gonna start with these two. Oh, I need to punch this one. I've already punched that one, so just mark that one. We're gonna punch it. Just that one. And I'll do that one. There we go. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you this once for these. We're gonna make four of these loops. So I just ran that through and I'm working off of that. I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers to put a 90 degree bend in that. And then I'm just gonna twist that excess around that. And we did the same thing pretty much on the Coca-Cola Coca bottle top uh, bracelet and the earrings that I made. 
we're going to make these just like that with the dual loops, top and bottom. I'm just going to do the same thing on this bottom part and on the other side. So I'm going to do another one down here and then two on this one just like that. Okay, so now all I need to do is I've got the loops on those made. We're going to do the bottom part a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these to my jump rings. So I'm getting an idea of how long it's going to be now. Um, now I'm going to wait. I'm probably going to put another chain in here to connect it to my centerpiece, but I'm going to go ahead and wire up my centerpiece. And what I'm going to do differently on this is I'm going to wire them directly to each other instead of including the loop. I'm just going to go through this hole and through this hole. Uh, these two will still have loops though. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do these two with the loops. And then I'll show you how to connect the two together. Okay, so I did go ahead and put the loops uh, on the upper part, just like I did here on the both the upper on those lids. And I'm starting to spool that around there on the bottom, but rather than make a loop, and let me finish that off, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some excess thread that through here. Let's see. I'm just going to connect that directly onto there and loop that around like that. to get it all flush in there. It's not, it's not all flush. That's better. So now I'm just going to directly connect this side to that side again, just like I did here. So it's the same on the top and then instead of making a loop, I'm just going through the next hole. So I'm just feeding that through there, leaving extra, I'm putting that bend in, so move that out of the way, and I probably will need some more wire in there, so I'm just going to go around a couple times with this end. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that there. Last time I didn't quite have what I wanted, so I'm gonna cut it a little longer this time. Leave it out there. And then this one's gonna go right through there. Leave a little bit extra because I gotta. See, that was too much extra. It's okay if you bend it too soon because you can always flatten it back out with your pliers. So, I put my bend in it there. I've got my extra here. It's not exactly what I was going for. Let's see. We'll put it in a little, a little bit more. So it's all right if it gets a little bent because we can use these flat nose pliers and then I'll bend it right back out. Okay, that's about right. Put my bend in it. I've got a little more to work with this time, which is what I need last time. eating that would be very bad. And I'm just going to push that in flush. And then I'm going to do the same thing here where they're just connected directly to each other. And I did decide just to leave it um, without any more chain here since uh, those two are pretty long. It's pretty long. It hangs just about right just under your uh, where your collarbones meet in the middle uh, here. This hangs just under that. And um, if these get a little warped, you can kind of bend them back in two. So that's it. I just connected these two loops with the jump ring. And again, these didn't have the loops. They're just directly wrap, wire wrapped directly onto the two. Um, so I did make a full set of jewelry. I will show you um, that's obviously the Coca-Cola necklace and you should check out my other videos where I just made the earrings to match. So I have that set here, Coca-Cola bottle cap earrings. And I also made her a bracelet. Coca-Cola bottle cap bracelet. So that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to my channel Jade Rhapsody here on YouTube and also follow me on Twitter and uh, Twitch. It's the same username Jade Rhapsody. That's J-A-D-E-R-H-A-P-S-O-D-I-E on Twitch and Twitter as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more jewelry tutorials.